couple of questions. <clears throat> but the facts are on July 30th at about nine in the morning, officers were called to the 4800 block of North Avenue. They were responding to a call of information for the police regarding a suspicious vehicle. When they get to the scene, they observe a white Porsche vehicle parked at that above location. They run the VIN number on the car and the car comes back stolen. The car was taken in an aggravated vehicular hijacking where the offender used a gun to take control of the car. The car was unoccupied at the time the officers arrived and the officers were going through the process of recovering the stolen vehicle. It's at this time that our now known offender, Lavelle Jordan, he walks right up to the car. The officers are present. They're inside their car actually doing the recovery. He walks right up to the Porsche and he enters, enters the Porsche trying to drive away. So I, I'm just gonna kind of pause here because I, I mean, I had a chance to, to see uh, some video on this. It, it just shows how emboldened th these criminals are. The, the officers are, are right there and this guy walks right past the front of the officer's car and just jumps in this vehicle trying to start it and drive away while the officers are, are right there. And now we know after all this that the guy's got a gun on him too. So it, it's just, it's remarkable how emboldened this guy is and the criminals in general right now. After this guy gets in the car, the, immediate, the officers immediately jump out of their car when they see this guy open up the door. I mean, it's less than three or four seconds. They're on top of this guy and they try to remove him from the car. He's refusing to exit and they have to physically remove him and handcuff him as he's, as he's struggling. Uh, after he's handcuffed, the offender is transported to the station in a marked, uh, marked police car SUV with a cage. And that's when the officer walks around. And I mean, I know you guys know what happens at this point, but the, uh, the officer walks around, he opens up the door. By the time he opens up the door, he's immediately shot in the face, specifically in his chin area and it goes and then fragments go into his neck. The officer falls backwards. And at that point is when the gunfight occurs between the uh, offender and the other officers on the scene. Offender shot, taken into custody, his weapons recovered, and that weapon that he had was stolen. Three officers suffered injuries. The most serious injury, in, injury excuse me, was obviously the officer shot in the face. So this guy has now been charged, Mr. Jordan, with six counts of attempt murder, as well as several other charges. The um, News Affairs will get you guys some of the information on the additional charges. Obviously the most important charges are the fact that he tried to kill six police officers. Um, so I know you guys have a couple of questions. Um, this uh, offender is a convicted felon. Uh, he's a convicted felon on parole and then his last charge where he just got uh, released uh, being on parole was for felony possession of a gun. Uh, he was on electronic monitoring until June and then that was removed. And then it's not a month later that he's armed with a gun, going into a stolen car with officers five feet away from him, and then which leads to him shooting officers. Um, so that's just a little bit of background on the defendant. I know people have a couple of questions, so 